the puppy dog. Look at these tails. Look at these tails. Oh my goodness. You make your mommy so happy. Look at you getting in my dressing gown. What are you doing under there? Oh my goodness me. My goodness. Turn your back on me. <gasps> oh. Oh. You smell like a fresh cheese twist from Waitrose Bakery. It is my favorite cheesy smell. Oh. My favorite cheesy smell. <laughs> Goodness me! There is all of the space for you, my young boy. All of, all of the space. What on earth did I do to be this lucky? This lucky. I have my Lumi laying in bed. I have my two off sausages. <laughs> goodness me what did I do look at these where are you going ah are you getting a toy or are you seizing your opportunity so what we have realized is oh you're bringing mommy a toy you're bringing it to your mommy you are so kind you are so kind thank you my, and you take it back now. <laughs> He's like, I share it with you, and then I take it back. My kind boys. My kind boys. Monsieur Squeaky Goose. And Monsieur Dignified Gentleman. Oh, yes. Thank you for sharing your toy with us. And with your little brother. You are... So beautiful. You're nuzzling your mommy. You're nuzzling. You always want to kiss your mommy's face with that tongue, don't you? I could sit here all day with you. I could. Genuinely. This, like, I would be very, very happy spending my Friday sat with you in our hallway, having lots of kisses and lots of snuggles. But I think you would eventually get bored. And you, little Jaws, so I'm not going to spend all day with you in the hallway, but we are going to spend the most part of the day because Daddy has gone to the farmhouse to do a workout and Mummy is going later for Farmhouse Fridays with Auntie Carrie, which means you have Cousin Volley. Yeah, oh, you nutted me. You nutted me. Come on, angel boy. You can get on too. You snuff snuffling your brother's bottom. You are disgusting. You are disgusting. Ooh, my net of water delivery is coming today. Perfect. Look at you. Little schnuffkins. Oh my goodness. I'm going to entitle this video 10 Minutes of Puppy Love. Happy Valentine's Day. It's not Valentine's Day, but it should be. When you're getting this much love from your babies, should mummy sing her favorite song to you? I know how you love your mummy's voice. It is your favorite sound. You are so beautiful to me. the whole world. I hope you know. <laughs> Cheeky little lick of the nostril there. Right. 
Mummy needs to get up. She has a busy day today. Carrie has back-to-back -back telephone meetings regarding lots of exciting things that's going to mean that you have all of the food you could ever want. And then I have been instructed that I have to hoover the house and mop the house. And I also have to wash this Olaplex off of my hair. <sighs> because Carrie and I are going to explore today in the Cotswolds. Come on then. We could spend all day here. No! Oh! No kisses with the mouth open. Go on, you two. Go and play. Have you had? I'm going to text your daddy and find out if you've had breakfast. You need to have your breakfast. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. oh. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> that was quite the start to the day. I cannot express to you how wonderful it is when I walk out of my bedroom door and I am met by wagging tails. It just fills me with so much joy. I, I'm sure anyone who's got any kind of fur baby or anyone who loves them, just seeing the person that you love or the animal that you love or the child that you love, just it just fills you with such joy. Oh. I'm trying to get my eye drops open. Oh dear. Getting a little bit refreshed. I am now washed and um, I had my third, 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 third Olaplex treatment yesterday. So I've washed my hair and uh, masked it and it is all prepped. You know what I've realized? My hair actually looks redder in this camera. We were talking about it in a salon yesterday. It looks redder on these cameras and I just don't know why. But anyway, we had a little bit of a later night last night because um, we were cleaning the house and uh, we made a bit of a thing out of it and then had ice cream before bed, which was just lovely. Today is a very, very different day. Today is Farmhouse Friday and it's when Carrie and I go and spend the afternoon, evening at the farmhouse, basically. It's not always on a Friday. Uh, sometimes it's on other days, but Farmhouse Friday is the thing. We've actually decided that one of the things that we're going to do, because today we're going to Chipping Norton beforehand, we've got a massage, Carrie's like all, uh, booked all of this, but we're going to explore Chipping Norton and look around the shops because we've always wanted to do that. And we're going to look to explore a village um, every time we come, basically, that is our plan. I'm going to get my hair in my heatless waves Ujimi flip so that I can get cracking on my face. But it should be a wonderful day. I woke up this morning to the sound of heavy rain against the windows in the house. And I had all of the faith that the sunshine was going to come out and it did not disappoint. Also because I checked the weather last night <laughs> and it said that it was going to rain in the morning and it would be sunny in the afternoon. So I beg your pardon. Good morning, gorgeous girl. How art thou? I am going to get my hair wrapped into this because this, honestly, I did an entire video over on my Instagram. If you don't follow me over there, you should. I did an entire video dedicated to how I'm caring for my hair at the moment. And this has just changed my whole life doing this. My hair is now no longer like something that is arduous basically it is just done in a flash pop my hair like this and away we go Mimi is joining the party <laughs> always wanting to be center of attention oh hello dropping stuff on the floor like that he's such a blooming hooligan oh gorgeous girl it's an animal fest today it is an animal fest oh, I beg your pardon you have food you have everything you could ever want in the world. No, you want everything, you want everything. <laughs> you, my little gorgeous Moo, I know exactly what you want. You want to curl up on my lap. <laughs> she is a woman who knows what she wants. Stop purring at me, I know what you want. <laughs> 
Don't mind me, Lumi. No, don't push the camera over. You are so naughty. She is such a sassy <laughs> So I'm gonna get my hair up in this and ready to go. But it should be a very, very lovely day today. I'm really looking forward to it. Are you chewing my new mirror? My new mirror has arrived as well. I'm just gonna pop this in my mouth so I'm not actually gonna be able to talk. It's so I can keep these curls nice and tight. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my other dressing gown and I'm going to lay it down for you. Come on. Here, look. Lulu, here. Nice and cozy for you. It's actually gonna be one of the first days that Carrie and I have spent together just us we get into this really bad habit of like inviting everyone on our nights because we have such good times when we have nights out and we invite everyone and then we're like we've not spent any time together just the two of us so um we were like next weekend is just us two ali's currently he's just done a workout with charlie then he's going for uh golf with his other friend mark and then he's spending the evening with the dogs and um, Carrie's boyfriend. I am gonna do a bit of a makeup tutorial with you today, which I only do um, sporadically because um, I never want to bore you. I know that I'm such a creature of habit and I know that I like pretty much the sort of same look and I go for the same kinds of products, but I know what I like and I know what suits me and I love telling you about products that are just wonderful for like glue, gluey? For glowy, beautiful, like bright and complimentary makeup. So I might not be the most adventurous, but boy, do I know a good product. And there's not many brands that I would do almost a full face with other than obviously by Terry, which if you are new around here, which I'm sure there are some new people since I've been on the internet for however long and the first time I worked with By Terry was like a hundred years ago and the fact that I still get to work with them every year is just the absolute dream and it's because I believe in their products so, so much and I know that so many of you have discovered them and fallen head over heels in love with them just like I have. So to be able to do this is really, really exciting. So I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite products from the Hyaluronic range. Starting with the Global Face Cream. This has five hyaluronic acids, and I, I can never say this word, niacinamide, 5%, and squalane, 5% as well. And oh my goodness, if ever you feel like you want a hydrated, beautiful, naturally luminous, like not like iridescent in any way, shape or form, but just plump and bouncy. Mm. This cream is like an absolute dream come true. I pop this all over my face, sometimes probably a little bit more than I actually should, but I also love adding it to my foundation. I do have a discount code, which for By Terry is always a little bit of a treat because their products are luxurious and inexpensive. And so to get 20% off with Lydia 20 is a bit of a treat as well. So I'm going to massage this in whilst getting my skin prepped. And look at that dew and bounce. Oh, I love it. Such a good product. I should also mention that it is vegan, clean beauty, and also fragrance free. So uh, the one thing that I am really, really particular about, you'll know I'm particular about fragrances, and um, especially I, I like quite nice fragrances. And so if something smells a bit funny and I've got it on my face, it's gonna make me feel a little bit queasy all day. This, completely fragrance free, nothing overbearing whatsoever. It's just a really beautiful product that does exactly what you want it to, hydrate and not be overbearing. One of the exciting things about By Terry is that a lot of her formulas and like molecular makeup of her products are so exclusive and made in her own labs. Like this is the one thing that I think that sets them apart is that they just, they have the most incredible access to ingredients and formulations that I've ever come across with a brand. So it's always very, very exciting for me anyway. I don't know if you're interested in that kind of thing, but it gets me very excited. Obviously, I, she's looking at me like, you didn't let me sit on your, on your lap. I'm very upset. Uh, I'm gonna go in with my By Terry Brightening CC Serum. This is almost gone. <laughs> and I'm gonna add two pumps to my face. A really great way to make this more hydrating for your skin is adding um, the Global Cream to this. It makes it so 
much dewier. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna add the Brightening CC Serum to the Hyaluronic Foundation and a little dollop of this as well to make it extra, like, luminous. I saw someone, I mentioned it in one of my other videos, I saw one of their makeup artists doing this and I was like, oh my gosh, dream come true. I'm going to use the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Foundation with SPF 30. This is shade 500N. And what I'm going to do, give it a good shake. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit to my fingertips. I'm going to pop a little dab of this on my fingertips as well. And I'm also going to add in a squirt of the Brightening CC Serum. And away we go. So what I'll do is I'll use this as my sort of base makeup and I'll build up wherever I need more coverage because I don't like a really cakey foundation look. I don't like the way it feels and I don't like the way that it looks on my skin. And so I really like to build up my foundation first, just wherever I need it so that you can see my skin through. But the little dollop of the face cream, I don't know if you've tried this foundation, but if you have, the little dollop of face cream and Brightening CC just sets the makeup on fire. I love it. And then I just build it up wherever else I think I need coverage. If you don't know, I used By Terry Foundations on my wedding day because for me they are, quite honestly, the most reliable, the most beautiful, and it's just by Terry, isn't it? It makes you feel special when you wear it. I don't know whether that's just me, but when you find a really like beautiful brand, it makes you feel special when you wear it. Push it all into the hairline. This is probably the most lightweight foundation and most easily blendable foundation that I've ever used. I love the way it looks on the skin. For my under eye, I'm going to use the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Concealer and this is in shade 100 and this is like the brightest, most hydrating under eye. Again, without being cakey, it just kind of like melts into the skin, won't crease, and just adds a beautiful amount of sheer coverage. And I always find that it lifts the hyaluronic foundation beautifully. Just buff it into my under eye. And I take the excess over the lid. Make sure. Oh, <laughs> oh, well that was good. For my bronzer, I'm going to use the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder Palette in number two, medium to warm, as you can see, lovingly used, and a nice warm kind of bronze to it without being too much. Great for like carving out, but also bringing lovely warmth to the skin without being drying, which we don't want. The whole range is basically centered around keeping your skin looking beautiful whilst also sort of blending makeup and skincare together and being a makeup collection that like works, that the products are as amazing as you would hope them to be. Still trying to keep your skin looking beautiful, taking care of your skin whilst also being an effective like makeup product that works and stays put and does exactly what you need it to because I feel like there's so many products nowadays that kind of don't do it all whereas with By Terry I always find that it just kind of does it all. Getting a bit of bronze up now across the nose just to provide the little dinky dink and I'll probably add a little bit of the Hydra Concealer to the tip of my nose to brighten. Et voila! Perfect for adding like dimension to the face. Using my anniversary card from my husband as a fan. <laughs> now for a little bit of powder, just on the spot. Same palette, but I'm just gonna use this lighter one here. The thing with By Terry powders is they are centered around not making you look chalky 
but still providing a good amount of mattification, which is what we always want, basically. For blusher, I'm going to use an old favorite. This is the Brightening CC Palette in Beach Bomb. And I'm going to use this kind of corally one, which is the one I generally tend to use, just to flush the cheeks. A little bit on here, like that. Can't wait to see what the uh, By Terry Summer Palette is like this year. Oh my goodness. Now, for my eyes, I go back in to this palette and I'm just gonna like smudge a little bit of this through the crease just to warm. Nothing like over the top. I'm not doing like an, a massive eye look or anything. This is suitable for going for a massage because I'm gonna be face down. So I'm gonna need to um, touch up but also looking nice because we're gonna go for drinks and dinner at the farmhouse. The eyeliner that I cannot stop using, this is by Terry uh, in, it's their Ombre, not their Ombre Black Star, it's their Precision Waterproof in Brown Stella. This is an icon, I wore this on my uh, wedding day and it is just so good. It's also so good just for the blooming sharpener. There is no better sharpener than the by Terry sharpeners basically they are exemplary and it's kind of like a um sparkly warm brown but not too warm so um i just use it to kind of smudge over the top of my eyes i'm gonna do it using my palette though and the thing with by terry products is they're just so easy to use like everything is just so like malleable and you can just play around with them, make them work for you, and kind of just find out how you want to wear them. This is just literally like smudging it onto my eyelid, nothing fancy whatsoever, just to add definition. Just gorgeous. Going in with the By Terry Lash Expert. Got the length going, now we're gonna twist to get the volume. I almost forgot highlighter. Mon dieu, it's getting ever closer to when I'm supposed to leave. Adding a little bit of sheen, basically everywhere. Et voila, et voila. And then for the lips, because um, this is the most exciting part and I thought I would tell you my favorite colors from the Hyaluronic Hydro Balm because these are an essential. Like everyone I know has one of these in their bag, basically, because they are the most beautiful sheer balmy lipstick that just keep your lips hydrated but with a beautiful and perfect amount of color so my favorite ones are sexy nude nudissimo and tea time and actually my favorite thing to do is to mix nudissimo and tea time together to get like a peachy pinky nude i'm gonna hit it here so you can see that's quite pink And then I'm gonna put this one down here. So this is tea time. And that gives me the most perfect sheer peachy nude that is going straight in my handbag for the rest of the day. But in all seriousness, I don't have to tell you how much I love this brand and how much of a joy it is to get to work with such an amazing group of women. So I hope that you liked this little refresh of a tutorial. I'm gonna shove all of my makeup bits away. Remember that I do have a discount code. So whether you're looking to pick up the new Hyaluronic Global Face Cream, which I definitely think that if you like a lot of the, the By Terry base products, you are going to love. It's almost like an extra hydrating step in your base routine, basically. Um, and also the Hydro Balms for me are just such a great option for like barely there makeup. 
even though this is definitely not a barely there makeup look. It's just a lighter shade. The sun is going nuts today. It is all over the place. I think it's because it's windy and sunny. But I'll link everything that I've used in the description box down below. I need to get ready to go because um, I've got about 45 minutes and that might seem like a long time, but my goodness, do I take a long time and I still haven't sorted my hair, so oh my gosh. Right, everything in half. Foundation brush, I will take. Uh, that is the other good thing about this. If you get the darker shade, I think I take the 400 shade of this as well. You can throw this in your handbag and it is so amazing for touch-ups. Anyway, I'm gonna stop going on about it because I know that you guys hate it when it's a really long makeup tutorial, but I can't help it when I have really good things to say about a brand and I want to tell you all of them, so sorry. <laughs> This is my new mirror, by the way. It arrived from Cox and & Cox, and I'm actually so much more impressed with it than I thought it was gonna be. Like, it said it was like a wooden parquet, and I was worried that it was gonna have like, um, almost like herringbone all over it, but it doesn't. It just looks like a really beautiful, almost bleached oak, which was what I wanted to put in here because I was so sick of my other mirror, never being able to see like my full length of hair. So, slight little upgrade there, just for now until the uh, dressing room gets its glow up because obviously we're gonna be painting and changing in here eventually, but yeah, for now, this is what we're working with and I think it's so much better. Right, hair done. And one thing I always want to show you when I do my makeup is how my skin looks close up and I always find the Biterry stuff. <gasps> their products just hide the pores, the big old pores very, very well. Hair is out of heatless waves as well. And um, hopefully we'll stay like this for the most part. I now need to choose my outfit. I've actually popped on some leather trousers of dreams, which guys, these leather trousers are the best, like the comfiest and the most flattering ever. I'm just, I'm gonna put it out there. But um, I need to decide whether I've got shoes to wear them with or whether I think I'm gonna be a little bit, um, what's the word? like cold because it's quite windy even though it's sunny and I'm thinking do I really want to wear this or do I want to wear boots or so um anyway I thought I'd bring you downstairs I've got a few packages to open <gasps> it was a very um busy package morning and I didn't get to open everything with you so before Carrie arrives and before our car arrives I thought let's do a little unboxing oh I feel like the light here always shows off my skin the best Ah, love it. Right, boxes. Oh, sorry, my gorgeous boy. Where is Little? Are you okay? Have you taken my little slipper to bed? Good boy. Good boy. Right, I have some function beauty that's arrived, right, but the one that I am very, very excited about has a Stories logo on it, so I thought one of the puppy dogs and I could open it up together. I'm going to be super quick <laughs> and probably super late. <gasps> Ooh, dark chocolate truffles. <gasps> oh, 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 wow. Oh, they've sent their newly illustrated Valentine's Day collection and their wax seals. Oh my gosh, they've sent the wax stamp kit. <gasps> So this is their wax seal kit, but this is their Valentine's Day one, and it says Mon Amour in the most beautiful crest. Honestly, I find that everything that they do is just so wonderful. Oh. So this is obviously like their little Valentine's collection kit. Oh my gosh, there is more stuff in here. Oh my gosh, we've got milk truffles, dark chocolate truffles, champagne truffles, the wax kit. Oh, this is for... Oh no, stop it, I've just opened this. Wait, okay, so one of these is... Oh no, I've ruined it! One of these is for the girls. I think these journals need to be for the girls, to be honest, because I've got them. So these are for Carrie and B. Oh, they are so cute! Love, love, love. What is in here? When you order your wax seal from Stories, you get a little um, how-to card as well so that you know what you're doing because it is a beautiful little art, but you've got to do it right. So 
Um, they don't just throw you in at the deep end. Lots of champagne truffles, a little wax seal kit. Oh, so cute. And then a little note for me. Oh, to Lydia, happy Valentine's Day, love seasons. Everyone is texting me, texting me. Okay. Ah, oh, we have the little walruses. So this is another net a -porte delivery that I made because there is just so much online at the moment that I'm enjoying and so, oh, so beautiful. Oh goodness me, size 44, they look, they don't look like they're my size at all. That is so sad. I absolutely fell in love with these Chloe trousers and that is definitely not my size. I can tell just by looking at it. And the puppy dog's ah, off the dress, off the dress. And then this gorgeous embroidered linen Erdem dress. Well, those trousers are gonna have to go back. I'm so sad. I will obviously try this stuff on, but the, the puppy dogs are in there. But these are what I was really excited about. I um, ordered some Manolos, which I haven't ordered for quite a while. And uh, these are like my dream flats for springtime. And I thought to go with my Hermes Birkin, these were just a really beautiful, elegant pointed toe flat. I realized I can't not, um, I can't wear like round toe flat shoes, unless they're boots, of course. I much prefer pointed. And so this tan pair looked absolutely perfect. However, they may be slightly too big. Although with flats, I always feel like it's good to size up a little bit, which I think in this case is absolutely correct. Yep, they fit perfectly. These are a five and a half. Wonderful, yay! So a fail with the trousers, sadly, but not with the shoes which is wunderbar. I am running exceptionally. <laughs> Can I just show you this? Barkley, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, Porter in there as well. What are you doing? What are you doing? I am actually gonna unbox the other bits and pieces with you, probably either tomorrow or another day, just because I need to hurry up and get ready and also make sure that Ali isn't coming home to a messy house. So what I do in those instances is I hide everything in my messy dressing room. <laughs> Off puppy dogs! Off puppy dogs! Good boys! Chipping Norton, <laughs> we've arrived. Um, that was a very abrupt change from my house to Chipping Norton, but I was running exceptionally late and uh, Carrie, Carrie had to make me lunch because otherwise I wouldn't have had any. But we've arrived and I've never actually looked around Chipping Norton before, so I'm excited to have a look around. But the first place I'm heading is Osborne Interiors because I follow the lady who owns it on Instagram and I've always wanted to come and have a look. So we're gonna head there now, if you can hear me over the wind. I don't think it's open. No! <laughs> Anticlimax of the century. Online story. Oh, I did not know that. I thought you could go in and have a look. Oh, what a shame. That is such a shame, because oh I've- Oh my God, I love that as well. I've always loved their wicker side tables. They've got these beautiful wicker side tables, if you can see them there. Yeah. With the- I, um, I like the footstool with the tray on top like that. Oh, lovely. Very nice. Look at us. Look <laughs> We're like proper window in. shoppers. <laughs> well, oh. that is a bit of an anti-climax, but at least we came. I literally can prove it that I came. <laughs> we came, we saw, we did not <laughs> We are currently in a very lovely bookshop in Chipping Norton with lots of lovely coffee table books. And we've already purchased one. Oh wow, Shed Heaven, how cute. Oh wow, this looks like a lovely book. A Discourse of Forest and Orchard Trees for the 21st Century. That's, and look how lovely that is. Yeah. So we've had a successful trip to the bookshop 
uh, in Chipping Norton, but it seems like in Chipping Norton they have siestas because nowhere is open, even though they all say they're gonna open. Oh, that looks good, MASH. Let's go have a look at that one then. Come on then. Hopefully this is success. Oh, someone's coming out of it, so I think it must it's be open. open. <laughs> They're leaving. <laughs> oh, Moet. <laughs> Champagne bucket. <gasps> Old saucisse. I really like the champagne bucket, but I wish it was brass. Mm. Like that colour. That's a nice champagne bucket colour. Kira Knightley. <laughs> Very beautiful. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Little strip of houses down here and Caroline Grayson. <laughs> well, we walked all the way down to Station Mill and I'm just going to be a silhouette now, but we walked down there and I really wasn't hopeful so I wasn't even vlogging because I thought oh, I'm not going to find anything because last time we went it was rubbish and there's so much stuff that we're going to come back on Sunday. Going to do another little trip aroo there and pick up some bits I think, but we are now heading for our massages and then off to farmhouse for food and drinks. Good morning, everyone. Oh my goodness. That is the sound of the world's worst, the world's worst steamer. Like, honestly, I miss, I miss my steamer that I picked up in Co Costco like years ago. It broke and it was so good. And every like steamer that I've brought since has been rubbish. And this one, it's like you put it in the holder and the handle, not the handle, like the steamer spout thing doesn't even stay in. So it just falls out. Anyway, hi, good morning. <laughs> um, I ended up having the loveliest day um, in Chipping Norton with Carrie. I can't even, do you know, I should probably should have watched the last clip back because I can't remember where we got to. I think it was just before we went to our massages and I had a lovely like 80 minute massage um, at a place in Chipping Norton because we didn't book our Soho farmhouse massages quick enough. That is an error that we won't make again. Um, but no, this was an amazing massage still. Oh my gosh, it was so good. They even massaged in between my fingers. I was like, Oh my goodness. And for the first time ever, I was like, because I think I'm, I, I might be getting to the bottom of my headache issues. I went to the dentist not long ago and he said that there were signs of TMJ in my mouth. And since then I've noticed how much I like, um, unknowingly clench my jaw, which is so weird for someone that like, I just don't feel like a stressy person, but maybe it's like a subconscious, like self preservation thing that I'm just like, oh. Um, so I, yeah, I'm gonna go and have that all kind of like checked out and, and just maybe get to the bottom of it because I feel like there's a lot of like aching around here and maybe that's what's causing it. So I told the lady at the massage place like just my neck, just go in on it and she really did. And so I was like, oh yes. And then we had a lovely, lovely evening. Do you know what I really like about Soho Farmhouse? is that everyone's so friendly, like the people that work there. And even though like we've not been members for that long, like we go there and we just get chatting to people and people are so nice and just like, just really friendly. I, and I think that that's probably not what you would think it would be like, but it really is. And so that's something that I've really like enjoyed. There's a real sense of like community. So yeah, anyway, I had a lovely, lovely evening and um, we got back fairly, promptly to be honest I think we were on our way home at about 11 o'clock and this whole thing that we're doing where we get taxis just the two of us obviously we're gonna um, work it out so that it's better so that we go earlier have our massages do a little bit of a spa day maybe a workout and then go and have dinner and drinks and fun times that is what our main plan is we'll leave the boys at home leave the dogs at home and just do it that way so yeah I thought that was fun but you might be noticing I have a new little um what's it called these are like a robe aren't they i've got my um 
my Bertioli one there, which is my favorite. And honestly, I've worn that so much that I was like, I need more. I can't keep wearing the same one. And at the moment time, like barely have any in stock in like the green shades. And obviously you know that green is my spirit color. And I wanted to find more of like a moss green color. I've got one in a linen-y, waffly fabric coming. Um, this is the, the sage one. And actually this isn't silk. So this is a lot more affordable. I got this on Amazon. Um, it's, it's sadly not silk though. I would love it to be silk, um, but I couldn't find any in the sort of right shades in silk but this one is great to have like multiples of because i just wear them so much i wear them like when i do like my reels but i also wear them when i do my makeup and they just make me feel a little bit kind of zhuzhy so yeah i'll link this in the description box down below because i think that it's lovely but today 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 we are going back to shipping norton so this is the weekend spent in the cotswolds because we're going back to station mill both carrie and myself found so many items that we wanted it was a really good trip to station mill last time i went it really wasn't good and it was really funny because the only thing i wanted to buy was some books and they wouldn't sell them to me because they were display and i was like how do you know what's display <laughs> but um anyway we're gonna go back and have a little rummage and a mooch and probably bring some bits back and then go for a roast to soho farmhouse because carrie's boyfriend's never been so we're gonna take him like have an explore have a look around and just have a lovely day ali is Currently, I think he must be there now in Snowdonia. So he's spending the night there to shoot a campaign. So he's there with his friend just doing a little bit of walking, a little bit of climbing and um, some adventure stuff. My hair is still done with the Ujimi Flip. My heatless waves I wore overnight, which I definitely find works the best for me. My Erdem dress is there. I need to try that on with you. So I'm gonna steam that and I want to try it on. I'm not gonna wear it to, today because it's, the weather just isn't, isn't there yet for dresses like this. So I'm gonna try it on, see what I think. I've done some discount designer shopping. So I'm gonna be putting that in another video because I came across some absolute gems. I did it last night. <laughs> Whilst Ali was asleep, I was like, <laughs> shopping away um i need to get my nails done as well so i'm gonna have to book them, them in for next week because they've chipped my green i don't think i'm gonna go for the green tips again because i think when you kind of like flash your nails when you've got a dark color it's it's not as impactful as when you really kind of look at it which most people don't so i think i might just go for the green all over because i really do actually like the green and i feel like it doesn't like not suit me but i'll see what other colors she has got as well like I know she's gonna get more greens. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready. I need to get a little bit of balm on my lips. And I'm going in with my Dream by Terry combo. A little bit of nudissima and a little bit of tea time. Just four. I would say if you want to get one, because the nudissima is too pink for me. That's why I kind of contrast it with this one. But if you like a peachy nude, tea time is the best personally but then if you're looking for like a flush of red there's like really lovely balmy reds as well but i'm gonna add a little i think lovely dream team right there so i'm gonna get myself ready dressed and get ready to do a little bit of shopping oh i also did pick up something for ali i think i showed you i picked him up a book on bird's nests but it's the most beautiful book ever it was displayed i don't know whether it was like a local lady who'd who'd published the book or whether it was just a special a special feature in the bookshop in Chipping Norton, but it was so, so beautiful and basically taught you um, the different nests of birds. Obviously, you know what Ali's like. He is just the biggest lover of um, animals there ever was. So yeah, I got it for him. And then he opened it. I was like, well, I was gonna give it to you for Valentine's Day, but you've already opened it. So it's yours now, but he loved it. And it's the, the, those kind of things that he just like loves, like little bits of information that he can kind of digest quite, you know, quickly. Um, it's a beautiful coffee table book as well. If I can find it online. I'll link it down below. I'm gonna get myself ready to go because I don't actually know what I'm wearing. Although first of all, I'm gonna try on this dress with you. I have ordered the right size in the Chloe trousers. I don't know what happened. I was supposed to order the 34 and somehow I ordered the 44, like completely my fault. I thought maybe they'd sent the wrong size, but I checked my receipt, I'd, I'd made the mistake. And I was like, how has that even happened? So anyway, they'll be going back. So I can't try them on with you because they are you know, however many sizes too big, but we can try on this one because I think this is gonna be a really lovely spring dress. I am also wearing the most beautiful body cream ever from La Perla. First of all, the packaging is a dressing table dream, but the cream itself is like 
the richest face cream but for your body and the smell is so delicately beautiful it would layer with any perfume absolutely perfectly oh my gosh i think this is my favorite body cream for such a long time i moisturize my entire body every morning unless i'm fake tanning the only time i do not moisturize is if i fake tan i'm not fake tanning today tomorrow is fake tan day but oh my goodness how beautiful is this and they have also sent me some of their new fragrances to try. This one I've already tried out. This one is called Once Upon a Garden. And I thought that really did speak to me on a personal level. Although I wanted to change the lid to the green one because I think that suits it better. But there's, it's very, very beautiful. I don't know what this one is though because this one doesn't have a, a name. They're quite difficult to get out. So, But I don't think I'll wear one of these today because I've got the body cream on. I'll probably end up wearing... Um, an Erin fragrance on top just to give it contrast. And whilst my steamer heats up, I thought I would show you the robe in full view. But it's just a nice, delicate sage green that is very much my vibe. So I bought it just as like one that I can wear and not worry about ruining too much because my time one, I'm like so special. Like if the boys get their teeth in it, I'm like, no, don't. <laughs> but this one it, they can you know chew on it they like to chew on my dressing gown um little ties so they can do it on this one if they want to really but hopefully i won't let them get into that habit but you know i'm a soft touch well this is the uh, damn dress on and i absolutely love it i wasn't sure if i was gonna love it but i do i love a shirt dress i always feel like it's like the perfect hybrid between like tailoring and like dress femininity kind of vibes. I really, really, really love it. So much more than I loved the Zimmerman one, even though the Zimmerman one was like very theatrical. I felt like it didn't, um, it didn't do anything new that the other Zimmerman dress that I've got did. So I'm going to send that one back um, from my previous haul. But this one, <gasps> it's also got pockets. And I just feel like this is such a beautiful spring dress. The detailing and the embroidery, there is, I don't think I've ever found an Erdem dress that I don't like. I just think they are so, so in line with the things that I like. Like it just feels like, and also this is linen by the way, but this kind of like oatmeal-y colour with the green detailing, the floral detailing. Oh, it's just beautiful and perfect with some tan accessories, which you know I love. Bit of a style statement for me, but um, I love them. But anyway, I need to get dressed because we need to go. This is my outfit for a very, very cozy and windy Sunday. I've got my bespoke made Suster and Hicks like a uh, mock turtleneck on underneath the Lauren Manoogian cardigan that I got from net -a slightly longer line, lovely kangaroo pouches. I've got my Kelly 28 Karen Millen leather trousers and theory boots because I want to be cozy. Ooh. And I think this is going to be a nice little outfit for a day antique shopping and having a roast. I actually can't believe how dirty our car is. You actually can't even see the number plate. Look at that. It's so bad. <laughs> but apparently everyone's car is like this at the moment. So anywho, I'm off to pick up Carrie and her boyfriend. Off we go. Right, the boys have enough toys to last them a lifetime and we're only gonna be gone for like literally a couple of hours. So they've got lots of toys, a little treat each and they're just, do you know what? So good together that it's just a joy. They're just, oh. and also I didn't realize how like long it takes me to leave the house now that I'm a fur mum of three because obviously Barkley's eating three times a day and genuinely I just, I, I, that puppy is growing at a rate that I, I just, my mind is blown. Today I was trying to feed him his puppy food and it like fell out into the bowl and before I could like cut it up for him, he'd eaten it. He'd eaten it. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> and Porter's obviously now eating two times a day and wanting to eat three times a day. Genuinely, that boy, the amount of food that we wasted when he was a puppy because he just would be like no i'm just not fancying eating today and we'd like put the food out for him because we were like obviously worried parents like you need to eat and he would be like, no not really interested in that today i'm just you know take it easy not eat anything i'm like now he wants to eat everything and then of course there's lumi who does eat everything as well so it just takes me so long to leave the house but um we're en route 
to do a little bit of antique shopping. The thing that I love now, do you know what? I feel such a huge pressure that's like, um, was lifted when we undertook the first phase of the house because I used to spend such a long time trying to find stuff for the house. And it's so nice now that I just get to do the fun part where I get to like zhuzh it up a little bit, search for cute knickknacks and stuff like that. But overall, like my vibe is in there and I love everything about it. I just get to put little fun bits of, of knickknacks in there. So antique shopping is really, really fun. And um, I'm looking forward to going today because I actually found loads of different things that um, I loved. So we're gonna go have a mooch and I'm gonna take you with me. And it's gonna be lovely. <laughs> Well, I think I found a potting table for my greenhouse that is a better size and is in the most beautiful bleached oak, which is gonna be so nice in there. Oh, I love it. There is a particular table just there that is the absolute dream, but I think it is just too long. I'm not holding the camera, I'm driving. My trusty assistant is holding the camera. Oh, the there's a well. rainbow that's like coming down basically in the, like the car, you're, we're literally driving through it. Then that car just drove through it. Wow, it's literally there. Wow, I think you should sing, Millen. Uh, what, what, uh, what would you like me to sing? Somewhere over the rainbow. Oh, I was like, do you want some buble or something? Like, are you, what you like? Are you taking a request? <laughs> 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 Oh my goodness, what a wonderful, wet and windy weekend. Genuinely, I feel like I've got like a scrap of makeup left on my face because I have been outside in the mud and just here, there and everywhere. I feel like I've been there all weekend. We just basically got back from farmhouse. We just, we got back a, a few hours ago and we decided that we were gonna go to the pub and have some food and a drink at the pub as well. Walked across all of the fields, we are covered in mud. The dogs definitely need a bath and they need some dinner. This house also is just so mucky. I think that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bath them. I'm gonna put them in front of the fire and try and clean the house because, and I also think I might try and let Barkley sleep with Porter tonight because he woke me up at silly o'clock this morning sorry i'm holding my hair up because genuinely it's a mess he woke me up at like four o'clock this morning and all he wanted to do was be with porter and so i'm thinking that he's probably going to be a little bit like porter in that he'd wake up in the night <laughs> it just made me laugh so much anyway right i am going to sort the house out i'm going to feed them i'm going to wash them and they're going to have some dinner and then i'm going to sort the house out because and they need to have this before they go to bed. <laughs> Look at the size of that tummy. Look at the size of his tummy. Mahusiv. Look at this absolute flirt. Look at you waiting for your mummy to come. Yes, 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 yes. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Ah, you're being a little playful, Momo, little playful. This little lady is settled in bed. I am now going to run the bath for the boys. Oh. Let's try some of this Faith in Nature lavender puppy dog shampoo. Take this off because I never know which one is a uh, shower. Good job. <laughs> so this is a military operation. So I run the bath. I have to put a gate on the bath. 
and I have to put a towel on the floor so that they can't get anywhere. Oh, this smells lovely. Enough for two puppy dogs. Give them some mood lighting. Sausages in the bath. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Yes, you've not quite worked out how to dry yourself yet, have you? Don't rub yourself. Rub yourself. Yes. Come on. Come on, Fluffy. Come on, Fluffy. <laughs> Come on, you need to have some rum ruffling too. You don't like being ruffled, do you? You are too distinguished. Come on. Ah, <laughs> ah, uh, uh, no. These boys are dried off and in their beds, ready to go to sleep. Yes, little schnoots down, good boys. And I thought before I go to bed, I'm gonna show you what I picked up at Station Mill Antiques. Now you'll know I'm a lover of antique shopping. <laughs> I also love steps. Um, for some reason, I wanted a pair of old steps like this. I mean, I love old steps anyway, but there's just something about these that I'll probably use in my greenhouse. I'll pop pots on each kind of ledge of this. In fact, they had this, you would have seen. They had like little planks. I'm not gonna do that though, but like little pots just in my greenhouse, but also I'll probably use this as like a photography prop of sorts as well. So it was like 60 quid and I thought it was beautiful. And I love the fact that it's still got paint all over it and it's totally imperfect and it's like a double-sided one. So that was one of the things that I got. Also, my other robes arrived from Amazon. This is so much more beautiful than how it looks on camera. This is, I'm gonna order some more of this color in particular because I feel like this has a much more deep and rich tone to it. Very kind of like moss forest green color, which I love. And I just think this is so lovely and it's nice the ankle you're going to see these a lot my waffle one arrived as well again i love the color of it so it's perfect the other bits that i picked up from station mill are just in here little like stoneware bits and pieces nothing overly like out there or anything but i just love picking up these like shelf styling knickknacks so this was 12 pounds this is a little um stoneware pot and i like put feathers or i use them by sinks just to like tidy things up but I bought loads of these from the old flight house and this is a slightly smaller one but I just always need them so I picked that up and then this was, ooh, this was a request from Ali because of our beautiful Brian Hanlon print he wanted a little bud vase like that's in the print that has the what are they like bluebells or I think it's bluebells and I saw this and I couldn't, I couldn't leave it behind. It's got a green undertone to it, so I love it. It's a little bit battered and bruised, but it was just too beautiful to leave behind. Perfect for popping, like just one or two stems of flowers in, just to brighten up like a bedside table or something like that. So 
I picked one of those up, but also picked up like a small one as well because you can just never have too many of these little ceramics. And I just love them. Absolutely love them. I do obviously have to decide between the two tables. This is just another little little ceramic bud bars. Great for doing like mini, really quick tablescapes. You could literally pop a posy of flowers in here and a few little sprigs of whatever in here on the table and it will look lovely and it will look like you've like really done something. Also, by the way, it rained on the way to the pub this evening, so my hair completely dropped out, which is never good. And then at Soho Farmhouse, tell you what, best advertising ever. They've got their candles everywhere. And I have to be honest, Ali got me some, we bought some candles for Christmas to like try out some of their fragrances and they weren't very strong, but I sniffed this one that was on in the hay barn and I, well, it's very similar to the Jo Malone Lime Basil and Mandarin. And I got confused. I thought that it was the, similar to the Jo Malone Basil and Neroli because that is one of my favorite candles and they don't do it in the big size. I don't know why, because it is the most beautiful candle. But this is still very lovely. This is their Bergamot and Mandarin Zest. And I just thought, nice big candle. They're quite expensive, um, but you get discount if you're a member. And it's a three wick, so we'll probably use this in the house. But lovely and fresh, but just very similar. But I just, oh, I just wish, I wish that, that Joe Malone or someone would make the Basil and Neroli in a big candle. But I got two of these as well from Soho Home. And I actually really loved the stuff in the Soho Home shop. Because usually I go and it's a bit sort of like, I don't know what the word is, but it, it's not as like rustic. But this was lovely. So many beautiful ceramics. They had these gorgeous, oh my gosh, these gorgeous mugs. They were, I mean, and I'm not allowed to buy mugs. Like even Carrie was like, Lydia, I'm not letting you buy any more mugs because I buy, I buy so many mugs. But they were so beautiful, so big. And then what else was there? There were some bowls and um, some jugs. Oh, so much lovely stuff. Whereas usually I'm not really into Soho Home stuff. Like I haven't been in the past. I, I, don't, I don't know why, but I haven't. And then now I was like, wow, this is really, this is kind of my vibe. So anyway, just a few little knickknacks. Now I have to go um, and measure up on the table outside to see what it is, because I've definitely found like the dream table to go in there. And um, the one that I've got at the moment is just a bit big and I find getting around it. And obviously I want to have like dinner parties in there, but I also, for the majority of it, it is my, my greenhouse and my potting shed and it needs to be that first and foremost. And so I think I just need a bit more of a practical table in there. So I'm gonna have a measure up and see. But if neither of them are right, neither of them are right. I, I particularly, I loved the, the oak one, but then the other one with the rivets and the metal, oh. Very beautiful. Hmm. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this vlog here because I have a funny feeling this is going to be quite a long one. I hope you've enjoyed this. Lovely weekend, mooching and exploring the Cotswolds and also seeing what I've been buying as well. I don't have PT tomorrow, so I'm gonna get up and do a workout on my Vaha. Yes, because I've got a bit of a busy week. I've got day of meetings in London, and then, oh, I've got a shoot day with Katie as well, which I've got some beautiful dresses to shoot, so I'll show you those. But anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and um, yeah, I'll see you in my next one, hopefully. <laughs>